Okay, today I'm going to talk about product development and design iteration. Here I have a design that has gone through an evolution. This is five uh, stages of the design evolution. Each of these represents one iteration of that design. The use case was we needed a way to hold these plastic rings in place while gluing them. Frequently, we have to glue these on uh, vertical surfaces and uh, we needed some reliable way to hold them in place without having to use tape or any other convoluted solutions uh, to, while the glue is drying. Um, and this is where it started. Um, basically, it's just a base that will fit inside the ring and then there's a rubber band and a, a stick that holds it down. So this was the first, uh, I guess you could say, prototype. Uh, just attach the magnets to the bottom, and very quickly I saw some problems uh, uh, with how the rubber band fed through this hole, and that these spaces were way too small. So, on the next iteration, I made the gaps around the, the rubber band dogs larger so it's easier to fit the rubber band in. I changed the shape of the handle so that the rubber band is taller and can put more pressure. So now it has more holding force to hold down on the, uh, the ring. Um, then I made the holes even bigger and refined the shape uh, to look a little nicer. Uh, then we had a problem where these magnets would sometimes get broken or just come off because they're exposed on the bottom. Uh, so I recessed the magnets into the base and you can see they're very close to the, the bottom there, to the surface. So now the base sits flat on the surface and glue cannot get underneath it. So if any glue squeezes out, it won't get underneath the ring. And I put our branding on the, uh, on the holder part, the stick part. And then the final feedback was they wanted stronger magnets. So. Now we have four magnets. So this is the final design. You can see that the I opened up the space for the rubber band to fit in, so it's a lot easier to fit that rubber band in. And the dogs are deeper, so there's no way for the rubber band to come out. Um, got their, our branding on there. We got four magnets that are dropped in from the top and held in place with epoxy. And this is the final iteration. So. From here to here took about mm, more than six months, uh, and that includes uh, a lot of uh, time in the field. So these products were used in the field, and based on the feedback, you know, we made I made these small changes, um, and all that is done here in the computer uh, using CAD software, uh, and then printed on the three D printer. Uh, so yeah, this is sort of the, the way we go about, uh, progressively improving a product until we're happy with it and then we can launch it.